you're welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to enlarge and also reduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in a ratio of 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1. So the first thing we have to do is to replicate that figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen and this is what we'll be having. We'll draw an horizontal line this way We'll draw an horizontal line this way. You can see that. And we'll pick a point on that line this way. We'll call the point point A. Right? We'll pick a point on that line this way. We'll call it what? Point A. Now we we'll discover that from here to here is given to be 30 so I will measure 30 on my metal rule so this is the 30 we have here right so this will be my point what point b and i am going to thicken it from a to b now the next thing is from here to here which is saying from what from b to c I'll draw a vertical line, then I'll measure 40 as the height of that figure, right? So let me see, this is my point D. So I'll take in it in this manner. You can see that and I'm going to draw another vertical line here this way and the angle between this line and that line here is 45 degree so what I will simply do is to take my 45 degrees square and place it on my t-square this way right and I'll draw a line from this point right or better still we are given that it is what 45 degree so let's take it from here to this point so the angle between here and here is 45 and i'll take in it because whenever your set square is placed in this manner it means this side here is what 45 and this is what we are bringing out so i'm going to take in from this point to this point Right, so I'll call it to be my point C. You can see that, and we want to enlarge this piece here. Is that the key? We will enlarge what the piece. So what I will do is, unlike the previous method I used, this is also called the radial line method. Unlike the previous method, where I place the point at in between these two figures here, and I start radiating the lines. I'll allow the point to be on the same line as the base of my figure here. Let me call it point what? Point P. Then I'll start drawing lines that would pass through this figure here. From this, I'll draw a line that will pass through D. This way. Right? Now, and also, I'll move this point, since it's, I cannot access it from here, I'll move this point to come touch this point here with my faint line, right? Let me call it C prime. So I'll draw a line from P to pass through C prime this way. You can see that and the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to draw this point downward 
from my meter rule from here i will extend this line downward then i'll take my compass right i'm going to take my compass place it at b in this manner then i'll come to a and i'll draw an arc that will cut the vertical line right let me call that point to be point one right or better still i'll call it point what e now what will i do i'm going to take my meter rule and draw a line that will pass through point e in this manner You can see that I'll pass through point E in this manner. So let me take this up a little bit. You can see that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, unlike the previous video we just drew, but now we want to enlarge this figure. Right? When you talk about enlargement, when you talk about you're doubling the size, right? You're increasing the size so we want to take it to a ratio of what two is to one right so what you're going to do is you draw another line here that is parallel to this line from this point you can see that and you take your compass and you start marking so from here from p here you mark one two three let me just stop at three so this is one two and what and three or better still i remove the one and two just to make you understand better i'll make it to be what one here should be two here should also be what two come here if i place it this way what i actually need i'll come to one my main figure i'll join it to this using your line division method when i join here i'll take my other metal rule or my other set square i'll place it in this way right and i'll move on that this way i have this to that line then i'll move to the other one too which is true so I need to make it longer, right? So if I come here, I have this. So let me just extend it to the point. Right? I have this. You can see that? So we move forward. Now, in this video now, we want to reduce this figure. I want to reduce this figure so i'm going backward so in the ratio of what one is to two right in the ratio of what one is to two so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to take my instrument here then where the two meets after dividing it i'll take this upward this way to touch the main figure You can see that. So where it meets here, I'll call it my B prime. That is the same level as this. Now what do you notice? Where this line, look at this arc here, in order to get A. See the arc of A is on the same plane. So where this plane meets here is E, and where this plane will meet in here will be what? Also what E will be what will be e so i'm going to take my compass place it at b and take it to e right and i'm going to draw this i'll draw this arc this way so where the arc intersect the horizontal line i'll be calling it a prime right 
and I will just tick in from here to here. I'll take in from here to here, and also where it meets here will be my T prime because on the same level as this, the same line, and I'll take in from here to here. Right now, I will now take my compass. You see this line here, where it meets here is this line, so the same point. So when I take this from this point to meet this here, you can see that this point here is my C, so I'll call it C prime. Right, and I'll just take my meter rule and I'll join D prime and C prime together. In this fashion you can see that now what I'm actually doing here is I have reduced and we can actually confirm that that if I place it here from here to here is what is 40 you can see 0 to 440 here is expected to be 20 you can see that from 0 to what to 20 if here is a um, 30, you can see that here is expected to be what? 15. Right? From here to here, it's supposed to be what? 15. So, this is what we call reward reduction. We've reduced it. We reduced the scale from the main scale to half the scale. So, this is half the full size. Is that taken now? That is what we've done here. So, in the next video, I'll be telling you on how to what? how to enlarge right so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching so don't forget to subscribe like and also share